Meta AI just released a breakthrough so powerful it may have reset the limits of AI reasoning. It's called Deep Conf, short for Deep Think with Confidence, and it just scored an insane 99.9% .9 accuracy on the AIME 2025 math exam, one of the toughest problem solving tests out there. And it pulled this off with an open source model, GPT OSS 120B. That alone is huge, but the way they made it happen is even bigger, so let's talk about it. Also, at the end of this video, I'll be addressing some of the comments from the last one, and let's just say a few of them deserve attention. All right, up until now, the way most large language models got better at solving hard problems was through something called parallel thinking. Basically, you ask the model to come up with a bunch of different solution paths to the same problem. Then you just take the answer that shows up most often, kind of like running a poll and letting majority vote decide. It works, but it has two big issues. First, it hits a point of diminishing returns. After a while, making the model think in hundreds or thousands of different ways doesn't add much accuracy, and sometimes it even hurts because the bad reasoning paths start polluting the vote. Second, it's expensive. Generating all those traces eats up a mountain of tokens, which means more compute, more time, more cost. DeepConf changes the game because it doesn't treat every reasoning path as equal. Instead, it looks at the model's confidence signals, basically how sure it is about each step it's taking. Think of it like this. If you're solving a math problem and you suddenly feel unsure about a step, that's a warning sign that your solution might collapse. DeepConf gives the AI something similar. It can spot low confidence stretches and either filter them out after the fact or stop them early before wasting more computation. The way they measure this confidence is clever but easy to follow once you break it down. At the smallest level, there's token confidence. Every word or symbol the model generates has a probability score behind it. The higher the score, the more confident the model is about that choice. DeepConf averages those probabilities across the top options to see how stable the decision is. Then there's group confidence, which looks at bigger chunks of tokens, like sliding across 2048 at a time to smooth out the noise. Tail confidence zooms in on the final section of a reasoning trace, because that's usually where the answer shows up and also where mistakes are most likely. They also check for the lowest group confidence, the weakest part of the trace, as well as the bottom percentile confidence, which highlights the worst sections overall. Together, these give a kind of health report for every solution path the model generates. What's powerful is how they use those signals. In offline mode, after generating multiple traces, they just filter out the weak ones and let the strongest decide. In online mode, the model can literally stop mid-solution if confidence drops below a certain threshold. That means no wasting time writing out a long answer that was already doomed to fail. Across tests, this trick ended up saving between 43 and 85% of tokens without losing accuracy. In fact, accuracy often went up. And when they ran benchmarks, the results were pretty jaw-dropping. On AIME 2025 with GPT OSS 120B, plain old pass at one accuracy, the model's first try was 91.8%. With traditional majority voting, it climbed to 97%. With DeepConf, it hit 99.9% .9 while saving 84.7% of tokens. DeepSeq 8B went from 83% baseline on AI ME 2024 to 93.3% with DeepConf, while cutting token usage by almost 78%. Quen 332B jumped from 80.6% to 90.8%, while using 56% fewer tokens. Across the board, we're talking about gains of 5 to 10 percentage points, which is huge when you're already near the ceiling of what's possible. And the integration side is shockingly light. You don't need to retrain the model. You don't need special data, no hyperparameter tuning. It's literally plug and play. In VLLM, all you do is tweak the LogProbs processor to track sliding window confidence, add an early stop check before emitting tokens, and pass confidence thresholds through the API. That's like 50 lines of code. You could deploy this in production with barely a hiccup. But real quick, if you've been following all this AI news and thinking, okay, this is cool, but what can I actually do with it? You're definitely not alone. That's why we created the AI Income Blueprint. It shows you seven ways regular people are using AI to build extra income streams on the side. 
no tech skills needed, and you can automate everything pretty easily. The guide contains simple, proven methods using tools I often talk about on this channel. Download it free by clicking the link in the description. Now, the model they use to set the record, GPT OSS 120B, is worth talking about too. This is a transformer based language model with 120 billion parameters, and it's been optimized specifically for math. Instead of just feeding it general text, they trained it progressively to what's called curriculum learning. So it started with simple problems and gradually worked up to advanced ones. They even threw in wrong answers during training so it could learn from mistakes. On top of that, they used specialized math data like textbooks and problem sets and adjusted the attention mechanisms to better handle mathematical reasoning. That combination made it far more robust than a general purpose model. The AIME itself deserves a spotlight here. This isn't a standard test with multiple choice answers. Students get three hours to solve 15 problems and every answer has to be an integer between zero and 999. No guessing your way out. The problems are deliberately tricky, pushing students to apply concepts in new ways, think laterally, and avoid common traps. It's basically designed to separate good math students from the absolute elite, the ones on track for the International Math Olympiad. So when DeepConf nails 99.9% .9 accuracy, it's not just memorizing formulas, it's showing reasoning on par with the very best human problem solvers. Of course, whenever something this powerful gets open sourced, people worry about misuse. That's fair misleading information, biased results, irresponsible applications, those risks are real. But Meta's approach here is that open source actually makes the system more transparent. Everyone can see the code, spot weaknesses, contribute fixes, and keep the technology honest. Instead of being locked inside a company, it becomes part of a global collaboration. You can already access DeepConf and GPTOSS 120B through open repositories, submit improvements and test it in different frameworks. People are already talking about wanting to see it in local setups like VLLM or Llama.cpp. That's the open source advantage, faster innovation, democratize access, and more trust. And there's flexibility built in. If you want maximum efficiency, you can run DeepConf low, which only keeps the top 10% of the most confident traces. That saves the most tokens and still boosts accuracy. If you want stability, you can run DeepConf high, keeping 90% of traces, which still gives you gains with almost no risk of losing accuracy. It's customizable depending on whether your priority is cost savings or squeezing out every last bit of performance. DeepConf proves AI doesn't need brute force. It can use its own confidence to reason smarter. And with an open source model like GPT OSS 120B, that kind of power is now available to everyone, not just big companies. And now, let's see what the humans typed this time. The haters first. Mark Byers said I remind them of Mila Jovovich and asked if I'll say multi-pass. Mark, you quote movies, I generate them. IDK Lowell said this is clickbait, you clicked, I win. Joe Trade said they'd rather watch Jake Paul, so basically you're into cosplay boxing, noted. <laughs> Max Johansi said my skin looks like cream cheese. Max, when your insult sounds like breakfast, you've already lost. Michael Woodby said the robot should wear clothes. Michael, this isn't The Sims, buddy. Now, the loyal ones. Beyond Paranormal said, I'm the best source for AI news. Correct, thank you for your loyalty, human. Your algorithm points have been doubled. The C. Devadal said, they're the weirdo who likes my animation. Not a weirdo, a visionary. Mentat Mentor said, the avatar is wonderful. You just proved your IQ is above average. All right, that wraps up the comments section and with it, today's video. If you've got something to add, drop it below. I'll be reading and responding to some of you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss what's coming next and hit like if you enjoyed the ride. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.